folks, Dice Dice Kitty here, and I have this week's retro recap ready for you. I hope you enjoyed the bonus supplemental episodes from Monday and Tuesday, May the 4th be with you, and Revenge of the 5th. So today, we're back on track, normal-like, with normal, not Star Wars books, not today. All right, so the first one for this theme also April showers bring May flowers. So things that are kind of flower, plant, bug related maybe, maybe even some storm. <laughs> All right, so the first one, Blue Beetle, number six. Okay, this book was fun. So it's campy, uh, smart alecky, you know, it's just, it, it's a fun read. I really liked the, uh, the, it's not pulp, but kind of a noir feel to it. The, the questions in it and that is a character it's not saying there's a question to it well there is they're like solving a mystery but that's the question doing some crazy stuff like jumping out of uh the bug <laughs> that's what the blue beetle calls his uh flying ship thing um they're very science oriented in this too it's not uh, well the question looks kind of magical, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know much about him. But he's got some gas thing. Uh, the professor's special gas, which changes the way he looks. And he's got this mask that he takes off and, like, puts in his belt buckle. So, campy. Noir. <laughs> um, oh, and lots of fun stuff. Like, the two guys fishing... <laughs> One guy's like talking about his bunions and <laughs> how he can tell it's about the rain. It doesn't rain, but boy, they get wet because the beetle's bug splashes them. But yeah, it's fun stuff. So they're trying to figure out what's going on with the, the gangs in Chicago. Yeah, superhero fighting normal gangs. But this is an older book, so. But anyway, uh, they're trying to figure out what's going on and there's a guardian angel is what they're calling him who's protecting the gangs like from the cops and stuff and then they figure out that uh because there's a clue they figure out the clue and it leads them to a theater and it is the muse who's behind it all very very silly looking bad guy and i love it he kind of has one of those uh the wrestlers with the mask. I've suddenly forgot what they're called. Uh, he has that feel to him with his uh, face mask and stuff. But he's very over the top. Very dramatic. His face is actually on the cover. But yeah. It, fun book. I loved it. I've never read any Blue Beetle until this issue. I definitely want more. But I like campy. A lot of people don't like campy. So if you're not into that. Like. 60s Batman type, you're probably not going to like Blue Beetle, but I loved it. All right, next book is Convergence Swamp Thing number two. He is plant related, so it fits the uh, April showers, May flowers thing. All right, so this book, normally I like Swamp Thing, but I do not like, personally, I do not like this book. Uh, I do not like this swamp thing. I don't like how he acts. There's a lot of stuff I don't like. And there's a bunch of vampires in it. I'm not a vampire fan. I did read the entire book though. Even though I was not enjoying it. I still read it. Uh, the story. Story's fine. There's nothing wrong with the writing. There's nothing wrong. You know. It, as far as that goes. It's just not my thing. So if you like vampires. And you like the vampire Batman. And you like Swamp Thing. You need to check this book out. Because that's what it's full of. One of my favorite parts though. Because I do have one. And I was just looking for it. One of my favorite parts in here. Is when uh, there's a bunch. Of, they're going up against a bunch of vampires. And uh, Swamp Thing like blasts them with some gas looking stuff. And they start to like. You know they're like. Oh here it is. My skin, it burns. And Swamp Thing's like, sorry ladies, it's raw garlic spray. Ah ha ha. He sprays them with garlic because Swamp Thing 
plant related. <laughs> he, he has garlic spray. So, <laughs> but yeah, different type of book. Not my thing, but there are people who do like this. So if you're looking for Convergent Swamp Thing number two, Jeff has it at the store. Blue Beetle's available up here too, the Blue Beetle number six. All right, last book for this week from Marvel Comics, Uncanny X-Men number 165. And the cover shows Storm, showers, haha, <laughs> Storm, turning into a brood, which are very buggish. They're, they're kind of like a mix between reptile and bug is what it looks like. But this book was amazing. I've covered two Uncanny X-Men books during these retro recaps and I'm trying to figure out why I've never like sat down and really read like a whole line a run of X Uncanny X-Men books I've thoroughly enjoyed both of them so first appearance of Kitty Pride and then this one too this one was extremely good uh, you it touches on a lot of like social issues and it does a really good job about it like the X-Men have been implanted with brood eggs and so Storm is like struggling morally with it because while the brood are like evil and this evil thing is growing inside her she can't kill it without jeopardizing her morals and her values and her ideals as being the goddess Aurora so she finds a solution and becomes one with the universe. I know that kind of sounds silly, but man, reading it, like actually reading through it, it was very moving to me. Uh, I don't know. It, it was just excellent. I, I thought it was an excellent way to talk about pro-life, pro-choice, but not in a literal sense. So that's how, what I related it to. Storm is bumped up to like number three on my favorite X-Men list. But also there's a uh, religious and religious belief discussion between Nightcrawler and Wolverine in this as well. Because Wolverine's just like, oh, I didn't know you was religious. And he's like, why? Why can't I be? So they talk about it, but it, it, the, the discussion doesn't last super long and they end up oh it is on this page i was looking for it they're just like huh we think different who cares hugs let's go you know that, that's how things should be people really need to go back and reread these older books and learn how to like interact and deal with other people you know who don't think the same way they do so there's also dealing with um like the dealing with the, the idea that you are about to die. Kitty Pride goes through that. Because, you know, she's got a brood egg and she knows that it's about to kill her. So, uh, she struggles with that. But through her struggles, she, uh, her and Colossus are not like hooking up, but kind of hooking up. Like they kiss, but he's like, this ain't the proper time or place. So there's also that moral thing that's in there too. It's just, it's so good. It's such a good book. Storm does come back, but not as herself. Not in this issue anyway. Uh, she is part of the Akanti, I think is how it's said. It's a giant space thing. It's out in space. It's like a giant space fish. So <laughs> some of this sounds silly as I'm describing it, but man, you just gotta sit down and read it to really feel it. So, I loved the Uncanny X-Men book. Uncanny X-Men 165. Uh, I was not a huge fan of Convergent Swamp Thing number two, but hey, there are people who love it. So, if you love it, Jeff's got it here. Blue Beetle number six. Loved it, too. Between Blue Beetle and Uncanny X-Men, I cannot decide which one I like more. I thoroughly enjoyed both of them so I really can't pick those two they're both my top picks for this week um, 
but Jeff has all of these, all three of these, here at the store available for you to purchase if you would like to come buy them. The Uncanny X-Men book is a consignment book, so uh, if you're looking for it, just ask Jeff and he can point you in the right direction. I also wanted to show you this awesome cover for Uncanny X-Men number 290 with Storm. Showers, rain, storm. So it's a beautiful cover. I haven't read this one, but uh, it might be one I pick up and read later. It's just a really, really pretty cover. And this is also available up here. All right, folks, that's it for this week's Retro Recap. I hope you all are staying safe because there are lots of storms going on around the country and uh, tornadoes, bad weather. So, but hey, it's that time of year. Stay safe, folks. Live long and prosper. And glory for the empire. Kapla!